standard issued equipment in football is a helmet to protect the head, shoulder pads to protect the shoulders. We even have a mouthpiece to protect our teeth, yet we leave the cervical spine completely exposed to injury. As you can see, the football player with a helmet and shoulder pads on is at tremendous risk for injury in the cervical spine area. What we're trying to do with the Kerr Collar is reduce this neck exposure. Neck exposure is the distance between the bottom of the helmet and the top of the shoulder pads. When this player receives force in this direction, that force gets transferred from the helmet to the skull directly to the cervical spine. And you can see here, without anything up underneath here to absorb those forces, they're all being distributed right towards the neck. With the Kerr Collar in place, we're really reducing the area that was completely exposed to injury. In a non-engaged position, the Kerr Collar does not touch the bottom of the helmet. It does not restrict a player's range of motion during play except as the football player goes to engage the Kerr Collar and brace for impact, we see that the force is generated from the helmet to helmet collision or helmet to body collision get distributed to the Kerr Collar and not directly to the neck area.